Morning, I'm Steven Sprinkle. This is Morning Bit. Let's get to it. Top three things I think are important today for Bitcoin. The first of which is ghash.io has officially come out and said that it's not going to allow its mining pool to become larger than 51% of the overall Bitcoin mining network. Now, this is huge news because once you become over 51% of the mining network, you can potentially potentially manipulate the network uh, to allow for transactions that wouldn't normally be allowed. And they're basically employing two methods to prevent, prevent this from occurring. The first of which is they're keeping new miners from coming in if it looks like it's going to cause their network to go larger than 51%. And then the second thing is their other site, CEX.io, which is a cloud mining service, uh, they're allowing individuals who buy resources there to point those resources towards different pools. So I think this is good news overall for the network to help make sure that the players in the network are preventing manipulation inside of the overall mining network. Second thing that I think is really important for Bitcoin is there's a company in the UK called Ellipse, um, excuse me, Elliptic. And basically they are the first company that has a uh, an insurance package backing the actual storage of your bitcoins and it's being underwritten by Lords, uh, Lloyds of London. And what it protects against is either uh, elliptic from doing some sort of software mistake or some sort of uh, negligence and then the bitcoins are stolen or that there's a third party that comes in and steals them. So if you're looking to get additional security with the storage of your bitcoins, especially if you have a large sum of them, I would suggest checking this out to have actually a insurance plan that uh, protects against the loss of those bitcoins. And then the third thing that I think is important, and I'm actually surprised that I haven't mentioned this yet, is a service called bitaddress.org. And if you're looking to do cold storage, which is essentially offline storage of your bitcoins, check it out. You can generate paper wallets um, and you can also do uh, encrypted paper wallets, but I wouldn't necessarily suggest that yet because the algorithm that's used to generate those uh, password protected encrypted wallets is not really well supported yet. Uh, so check it out if you're interested. I apologize that I didn't do a video yesterday. There was a power outage here that didn't allow me to get the video done in the time frame that I had available. But if you are a product or service, send me a logo, send me some info. I'd love to talk about you. Hope everybody's had a great day and I will see you tomorrow.